Guys, welcome to game one of Group D of Hasu League BSL Season 12. This is going to be a smaller group because Jedi 1 was also in this grouping. He had to drop out, which means Joe Zerg, who's actually a Terran, just to make things a little bit more confusing. I believe he's a Peruvian Terran. He has, he's got to walk over into the winner's match, which means you got three people vying for two positions. Should make it a little bit easier overall. We have Doodle, bottom left hand corner, as the orange Protoss here. Scout, the upper right hand corner, as the red Zerg. This is on Blue Storm. Which, I feel like this map favors Zerg a little bit, just because it's running, mostly because of the meta shifts on two player maps these days. I don't know, I feel like it favors Zerg right at this moment. And additionally, if you get the Overlord sailing towards the natural expansion, oftentimes you can see whether there's a Nexus warping in or not. And that gives you an idea as to, you know, produce, produce Zerglings, produce no Zerglings, things like that can give you an advantage. Basically because the timing, yeah, when this Overlord sails over this natural expansion, you can kind of, I think this is correct. You can see the, the, just the corner of the Nexus and then you know, okay, to produce Zerglings that win a match or otherwise produce Zerglings because whatever. Depending on your build order opener, we do see an overpool here from Scout, an instant Scout from Doodle after Pylon, and he is in fact opening Gateway first, which in the modern meta ha has kind of had a resurgence and tends to be a popular opener. One problem with Blue Storm, and I know this, it seems to favor old school players just because they're, they know this map from all those time ago, and that was kind of, this was popular back in the three hatch meta days, but it has kind of this gap at that natural expansion. You have so much room to try to blockade across the natural there and just a big wide open main. And on top of it, being kind of in the three hatch meta space, I feel like this natural expansion, I feel like Mutalists are so strong on this map just because there's so much room for them to dive into the main and also this nice mineral line that's just kind of sitting, you can kind of see it where there can be some harassment there. Doodle, able to harass that hatchery a little bit, but is going to be able to wander back in to see, and I think Scout is just letting him see this, see all of the eggs produced. So here we got two, at least four Zerglings being produced. His Overlord, and I guess the timing a little bit off, the Overlord wandering in is going to be able to see there is in fact not a Nexus. He is going to be able to see that Zealot making the way across. That should provoke an additional, yeah, that's going to provoke additional Zergling egg creation. So we have six Zerglings to deal with that single Zealot. Still going to stay at home base to try to track down that probe and take it out. No Extractor just yet. So I think that Scout's going to stick towards, I guess, it's either three hatch play, potentially, or something along those lines. Doodle sneaking up, doing a little bit of harassment on that hatchery currently. The Overlord actually wandering way into the main at this current. current. He needs to be careful because the Photon Cannon is warping in right underneath him. But it looks like actually eight Zerglings produced overall to provide some damage or to provide some harassment on that front door. There is a cannon warping in, so not going to be able to get it done then. Drones pulling off the line to deal with this Zealot. I don't think this Zealot's going to get... Well, might be able to sneak through and get that kill. More Zerglings being produced. I think Scout actually might be sticking... With the amount of Zerglings that he has produced at this stage, it makes me think that he's just going to go three hatch Zergling. He has plopped down an additional hatchery in that bottom right hand corner, but still no gas at any hatchery. And he's already got a, a sizable grouping of Zerglings. There are two cannons on the front door and three Zealots right there already for Doodle. But indications currently, no gas, just going to be Zerglings. And this is going to be Zerglings without speed. We'll see if he transitions out of this. Currently, three Zealots making their way forward. Perhaps just to deal with the Zealots, keeping gas light, realizing that... Oh, Fort? Wow, this is crazy. Zerglings testing the front door, getting pushed back by the cannon, continuing to push forward and getting test by, tested by the cannon. The Zerglings being donated for free. <clears throat> but this is a fourth hatchery. This is kind of greedy from Scout. Fourth hatchery before gas. Interesting play. And Zerglings need to be careful blockading that gap. I don't know that there's enough Zerglings at home base right this second. Finally grabbing a gas, so just going just straight economy. Drones pulling out of the natural expansion, waiting for more numbers to group up, and Doodle getting a little bit surrounded, but this is kind of against a gap where Zealots have superior... Yep, yeah, basically can just engage in superior numbers versus the Zerglings. Very nicely cleaning up any sort of backstabby opportunity right there. Cybernex score warping in a simulator is there at the main Nexus... Just about finished. I feel like Doodle's doing a good job of keeping the, uh, getting superior engagements with these Zealots. Just kind of camping it right there. And as a result, 
forcing Scout to expend more Zerglings than he might want to otherwise. Two Zealots actually ending the way around, seeing that third hatchery, and there's only three Zerglings left here, which is going to force even more Zerglings to be built. Wants to go ahead and catch some drones someplace. Finally, Scout mining some gas. But coming in here, the Scout's got to feel like something's up, because he's going to walk in here, see no lair. Going to see absolutely no lair. And he's got to be thinking, like, okay, am I going up against Five Hatch Hydra here, or what? And he's also seeing no den. Caught an open field, however, these, and actually the Zerglings misrallied a little bit there. Still two Zealots up, might be able to get a drone, but here's the thing. Even getting up inside this base and forcing this, this is a lot of hatcheries to produce out of. And a sizable economy that can be established as a result. We do see a Hydralis den being dropped in the bottom right-hand corner. So this is, I don't know, I am not going to call this a 973. Because usually you don't see four hatches coming out. This is a build order I have yet to see. It might be cutting edge, I don't know. But this is essentially four hatch Hydra. Four Zelts on the front, level weapons about halfway finished. We do see double gateways being dropped in the background upon seeing no lair. And that's unfortunate for Doodle because he's not going to know that he's up against four hatch rather than three hatch. Unless somehow those Zelts meander into that bottom right hand corner. And right now he might be thinking like, okay, I can just press this, I can continue to get things, but honestly, he needs to be a lot more aggressive, a lot more rapidly. Otherwise, he's going to end up falling behind in this match as Scout is able to just sit back on a lot of bases. Scout supply capping himself right this second. Actually, I take that back, popping a little bit later than I was expecting. The Zealot kind of sneaking through the gap. One Dragoon produced is going to be able to take out that Overlord just to be a little bit annoying. Getting some, some, some sort of on my cell phone that I'm going to have to set an alarm. That's going off. Yeah, there's a timer. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> so I'm able to get in the natural expansion. Get a kill right there. Sunken Colony pushing things back otherwise, and now the Hydralisk is being produced. However, Scout briefly in the red. This Zealot, yeah, and he still doesn't know about that fourth hatchery. That's just producing, producing, and producing. Right now, Scout is about even. That Zealot almost, did he even get, I don't know if he saw, I don't think he saw the creep. I don't think he saw the creep. So right now, Scout, about even supply, level and weapons kicking in, not a lot of forces, two more additional gateways being dropped, just because of all of the, these expeditionary zealot forces now finally checking that 12 o'clock base. Just be, and finally, it looks like one going to be able to check that bottom right-hand corner and is going to see that that's at least up, but I don't know that he's going to understand the timing of that. I think he might think that came a little bit later than it did. He is going to see that it's fully saturated. That does have zealot leg speed. The drone's exiting right here. Scout donating some more zerglings on the front. And now Zergling Speed has kicked in. He's going to go ahead and try to engage that on the corner. Right now, Doodle, this is kind of the timing where he would want to attack. And he is sending out a handful of Zealots, but honestly, it's kind of a smaller expeditionary force than you would expect. I think Scout going to try to deal with this otherwise. <clears throat> Looks like he's just running Zealots back and forth, trying to disrupt that drone line, doing some success. Zealot is going to be able to get into the main lair, warping in, and again, trying to abuse that gap. Trying to be everywhere at once. He's got one Zealot in the main, another one kind of wandering in that bottom right-hand corner. And this foray of four Zealots, so trying to use, even though he has inferior numbers, superior positioning everywhere to force more units out of Scout. And it looks like he is going to be successful doing so. However, Scout is at 37 drones overall, is producing out of these four bases. A Dark Templar has been in production and might be somewhere on the way, but it looks like there are overlords absolutely everywhere. Another grouping of Zealots, and this is kind of like a weird... Side timing, where another grouping of Zealots is starting to rejoin bottom right-hand corner, an okay Sim City with something colonies producing at double locations. I think Scout is going to have to, well, let's see if he can crash on that bottom right-hand corner to deal with this. Some Zerglings dealing. You can see the red coming across the mini-map, but Doodle is going to be able to take at least one something colony down, probably going to be able to get on top of that second one. So despite having all of these drones and a Dark Templar in this grouping as well, able to at least clear out some drones. To slow down Scout's economy. Keep in mind this is four hatcheries rather than three. Zelts look like they're going to be able to just dump on these Hydralisks with that leg speed and level one weapons. And just peeling that out ra rather rapidly. Scout going to have to rebuild. But if you notice, he's just got all sorts of resources to do so. Doodle still sitting up on 70 supply. He just needs to continue to apply the pressure here and not let Scout get any sort of army on the ground. More Zealots wandering forward. Hydralis now plugging the gap to try to provide better reinforcement point there. Scout has some reinforcements flooding down. Those Zealots getting taken out. The dark, looks like the Dark Temple are going to be taken out as well. 
And even though Doodle sitting 10 supply up, this could very rapidly shift around. Some drones being harassed at the third, the mineral only. It looks like they're going to evacuate. Now they're moving to the bottom right. This almost feels like uh, a game of like chair shuffle between all the various expansions for Scout, where Doodle's trying to attack them, trying to keep them from producing, has been mostly successful or doing so. We do have a Spire up, so Doodle needs to be careful that there's not a sudden... Because honestly, Scout has the economy. With three gases, as long as he can continue to produce, Do Scout actually having a lot of trouble keeping his drones just active under all of this attack. But here's the thing, there could be a quick transition to Mutalisk. And if that happens right this second, there's only, what, four High Templar? That I I think they might have Scythe Storm. But basically not a lot of anti-air, and the main is cannonless. A lot of gateways that are naked right there. Doodle trying to do it just with Zealots and High Templar, starting to move up to go ahead and try to establish his third, but this is giving breathing, breathing room to Scout to go ahead and pump units. Unfortunately for him, looks like he was supply capped and not really capitalizing as best he could kind of in this mid-game reprieve. High Templar caught, turning around, getting an okay size storm, but it's going to get taken out. Nice scout ignoring it, realizing that size storm was expended, engaging on the rest of the zealots. That's going to end up denying that third. Some zealots sneaking around from behind, but that's also exposing some High Templar to some reinforcements. It looks like these Hydralisks might get taken out in a pincer maneuver from Doodle. They're trying to retreat out to that bottom left hand corner, or the upper left. The High Templar do remain, but this is kind of a tentative position for Doodle, where he either has to commit or, or try to establish a third. And in the meantime, Scout's economy continues to roll. Scout having some trouble getting a cohesive army together. He, I do believe, is still well behind any weapons upgrade. He does have that Spire, but hasn't transitioned to any Mutalisks up in the air. Perhaps a little bit concerned about just not having enough units on the ground because Mutalisks are costly units. Does have that Overlord speed. Doesn't is working on lurker aspect, but doesn't have any lurkers quite yet. Third creep colony going down the bottom right hand corner. Hydralisk is milling about towards that natural. I don't think they realize the engagement point. And now Scout diving down. Sorry, Doodle diving down to that bottom right hand base, forcing cancellation. The drones once again fleeing from this bottom right hand base. And I think this is going to be too many zealots. They should be able to take out this base. But critically, I'm looking. I almost wonder if a counterattack would have been better from Scout at this stage. It looks like he's milling together, grabbing the Hydralisks, just giving up this base, grabbing the high ground. He's losing his Hydralisk den though. As a result, finally building some Mutalisks. Did he get? I don't know that. He, I think he might have canceled Lurker aspect in the midst of all this, getting some more sunken colonies at his third base. He does have Mutalisks overhead. Those Mutalisks could be the X factor here, but they're just not in large numbers to deal with such a large Zealot force. And keep in mind, these are speed zealots, so they can run around for quite a long time. Those sunken colonies not lasting long. First of all, picking off the High Templar. Unfortunately, Size Storm's landing on a big grouping of Hydralisks right there. And the zealots continuing to dive through. So the Mutalisks eventually will kill these zealots. But not before they're able to do a significant amount of destruction. And Doodle's finally taking his third behind this. Concentrating on that Spire. There are mules to try to defend that. But it looks like they might be able to power that down. So now Scout is back to tier 1 units. He's down to Zerglings that he's able to produce. And Doodle, despite being economically behind for honestly a large portion of this map, I think is now going to be able to swing into an economic advantage. He has Zealots everywhere. Plus drops. Looks like he's finally able to get some Size Storm towards the third. Doodle is everywhere on this map. Hydralis Den trying to be rebuilt. It's basically Creep Colony, Zerglings, and anything else as far as the defense force. There's a Dark Templar in the main as well. That's going to get cleaned up. By Mutalists. I think those Mutalists were able to be built last second, so this is going to be the only defense forces for a moment. Is Doodle going to be... You might want to try to scoop those High Templar back up uh, for defense. It looks like he's going to end up losing that shuttle. Third base is... Uh, sorry, the Natural Expansion. That's the Natural Expansion. So, Natural Expansion, Mineral Only are still up. There's been two hatcheries down. Another hatchery being reestablished for Scout at the bottom right-hand base, but Scout... Sorry, but <laughs> Doodle has inflicted so much damage. Finally, Scout moving in with some Mutalists towards the third base, finding all sorts of High Templar very vulnerable there. Three of them getting taken out. That's a lot of gas. Plus, they're side storming their own Dragoon right there. A lot of them weakened. Scout going for the counterattack, unfortunately, just doesn't have a lot of troops. And honestly, he doesn't have a lot of Tier 2 units to be able to build. Has he gotten his... I don't see a Spire anywhere. I don't see a Spire or a Hydralis Den currently. So, yeah, he's got Minerals, but... I don't think he's going to be able to provide a proper defense with just Zerglings, particularly unupgraded Zerglings. Zealots camping at the 12 o'clock base. 
So Scout having to regather himself a little bit. Is trying to micro, is trying to do everything else, is trying to deny Doodle additional bases. Doodle now up 30 supply. But he needs to reestablish something. Needs to reestablish something. Doodle has a couple cannons up there at the main. His natural, or sorry, his main base is looking about uh, pretty thin. So he's basically kind of like two bases. Dark Templar at, at the mineral only. Looks like it's already gotten four kills. There is an Overlord to go ahead and deal with that. Some Lurkers able to morph in. How did he even... So he had Lurker Tech researched? I didn't... I didn't realize you could even do that in the midst of... Uh, so I had some Hydralisks someplace. I'm looking for the Hydra Den. Where, where it's even at. So no Hydra Den still. No Hydra Den, but he was able to sneak a couple Lurkers. Things not looking good for Scout. He feel, uh, looks a little bit frazzled, to be honest. There's got to be a Hydra Den someplace that I'm just missing. No, there's the Hydra Den being rebuilt. He just had some latent Hydralisks that were around, that were built last second, and weren't gathered up or able to participate in the, the previous fights. While this is all happening, Doodle starting to establish that upper left hand base. And taking a peek at the 6 o'clock, thinking about taking that, or at least denying that, opposite side. So currently there's, I don't know, what is this, 5 Mutalisks? 6 Mutalisks to try to provide defense against everything that Doodle's throwing out, and there is basically nothing being built as far as army goes in that interim time between that last engagement, except Zerglings. Fortunately for for Scout, kind of like a, a blind counter here, where this is Dragoon Heavy expecting Lurkers. But there's still plenty of Zealots, level 2 weapons, level 1 armor. This is against unupgraded units from Scout. I think the upgrades are going to carry Doodle regardless, especially without any sort of Defiler support. The Observer sees it, sees the small numbers, is starting to push forward. Doodle at 154 supply, just macroing like a beast in the interim. Some Hydralisks, keep in mind, the only Hydralisks for a while sneaking through. Those Lurkers not lasting long at all. Some Psystorm over the Zerglings. And this, I think this is the entirety of Scout's army getting obliterated under some Psystorm before it's even in place to provide any semblance of a defense. Lurkers warping in just to get annihilated by... Overhead Storm and Dragoons. They are now walking free into that mineral only. Hydralisks, sorry, Mutalisks overhead very quickly getting wiped out. Looks like, fortunately for Scout, the High Templar suiciding themselves in that control group into the mineral only. Psy Storm over the defending Hydralisks, and it looks like it's just going to be Dragoons that are left out of this attack force. But there are reinforcements of Zealots wandering in. Over the mineral only, at least one hatchery is going to get taken out. And honestly, I think this might be game. Yeah, there's GG. So Scout going for some sort of four hatch play to start. Doodle kind of off timing on some of these attacks, but just by being everywhere at once is able to take down game one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will move on to game two between these two momentarily.